Okay, welcome back to the channel, my people. So happy to have you here, man. I missed you guys. What a long weekend. At least it felt like it for me. Unfortunately, I was not able to do the whatnot show, but I will definitely make it up this week. We'll do one, we'll do two, we'll do something. It'll be fun. We'll all be chilling together. We are checking a Target now, but it's not looking good. Where are the cars from Easter? So we have tons of Ultra Hots. They absolutely got more of the Ultra Hots. Will we see a four and a six? Those are, wow, two. What is number two? Oh my goodness, nobody wants number two. Dodge Charger. Oh, the Volkswagen. Huh, that's so funny, dude. It's like, like why? Why do they make all of these other cars if people just want two? Oh, Hot Wheels from the 80s. Oh, E-Case, right, right, right. I forgot the Caddy was an E-Case. So even like for Easter, they didn't get anything. Here's that Batman five pack. Does that mean the Fast and the Furious would have been in there? I don't know. Uh, probably not at this point anyway. Like, there's the Mustang. I mean, I'm sure somebody would have bought it, right? It's the Fast and Furious. Everybody loves the Fast and the Furious. Ooh, monster truck fans. Look at this. Some kind of new, new, new product includes... A crushed die cast car they molded. Wow, that's pretty cool. Look at that one with like different color wheels and tires and stuff. Roger Dodger. Uh, Invader. Wow, that's pretty neat. The taxi and the taxi has like that. And then that has the blue car. That's pretty cool. Wait, what is that one? That one's not. Oh, this one just has a Hot Wheels car. The Piranha. Huh. So some new products coming out from Miss oh, I feel like there's a, a lot of NASCARs here, unless it's just leftovers and they like piled everything into this one little section. Now, with a new lower price, Fast and All, it's the Auto Trader, right? And they're right in front of us. Yeah, of course, same ones we've been looking at for weeks. Ooh, remember when we found the two pack of Ultra Reds here? I was like, moving some stuff out of the way. Boom, all red. It was so awesome, dude. So awesome. I really don't think I need the main line to that, honestly. And I did keep it in amazing, perfect, just like it's fresh out of the box condition. Okay, next stop on the die cast fun train is a Hobby Lobby. Okay, Hobby Lobby. Oh, we do have some new stuff. Thelma and Louise, 1981 Chevrolet Caprice Classic and the Dodge Diplomat taxi from Thelma and Louise. Like, come on, green light. Time to, time to refresh those licenses, you know what I'm saying? Like maybe try like a movie that's from like the last, I don't know, 10 years maybe? The Fargo Police, the Camaro, the Camaro. We have seen this before. GL Muscle. Oh, dude, dude, come on. Are you are you serious right now? Dudes, dudes, we are starting out our hunting week with another Greenlight Collectibles Greenlight Chase. Is it a great chase? No, it's not. It's a Chevelle Laguna from 1974. Oof. Oh, I don't even know. Should we just leave it? Like, do I really need every green light chase? You know what I mean? I don't know. Gosh. So anyway, there's the green wheel. We know, we know we've, we've seen this before, all right? So that, that's how we know. We know, we know, we know because we've seen it before. And yes, I can see it. It's green. I'm, I'm learning the darker, like, bases. You see the green, like, in certain places. I can rhyme all the time. Anyway, yeah, yeah. So I don't know. I don't know. $8, $10 with tax for a, a, a Chevelle Laguna S3. I mean, it's a greeny. I don't know. This is not a greeny, by the way. Uh, yeah, we've already covered that before. Oh, I don't think that was here, but we have seen that before. Dodge D100, 1964. Oh, here's the Ranger. Here's the Ranger that we saw. Oh, this is a different color, I think. Remember? They were at the, the Target. Look at those little wheels and tires, man. They look awesome. Walnut Poly with desert tan, light desert tan, by the way. We do still have the Mustang here. Oh man, I, f I thought I fixed it. Is this the one, maybe this was the one I couldn't fix? Oh, there we go. Oh, I almost got it. Oh, it's fixed. Fixed, fixed, fixed. 
you are, oh, oh, that's, that one, well, come on, get on the hook. That wasn't here before, I don't remember seeing you. Wow, it looks awesome. Look at that Torino Talladega, wow. Wow, it looks great, dude. Black Hood, Royal Maroon is the color. Man, it is cool. I feel like there's a ton of these, these two packs. Look, there's like so many of the two packs, but not the one we need. I guess that's it. Oh, check this this out. This uh this punch buggy. I know some of you guys like these. Look at the red wheels on this T1, dude, and the flames. It looks awesome, man. If they were to do a chase, that would be awesome to embrace. Oh, California low riders. I forgot about you. Monte Carlo, DeVille, and uh, another Bel Air. Nothing good. Nothing good. Wouldn't mind opening one of these. I don't think the hood opens though, like the like the white 1963. Remember, we opened the hood and we could see the SS okay, motor. Hey, Hobby Lobby, thank you for that little treat. We got to check out the Chevy Laguna, right? Greeny, whatever. Uh, well, the one thing that's cool is that the wheels are chrome, so the green actually really looks awesome. The chase, the chase green. We're gonna keep it moving, of course. We're gonna keep it moving. But yeah, I didn't do the whatnot show this week, and I'm so sorry with the holiday and everything going on. It just, it just didn't work out because I want to do a long show. The next one we're gonna be on for like probably two hours minimum, maybe, maybe longer. I'm gonna make a bunch of boxes. So yeah, I will make it up to you, my people with the show i promise checking another tarjay now <laughs> but this one's awful man it's like i don't even think anybody works in this section anymore i think whoever works here uh, i think they quit it's all the same stuff dude except maybe maybe some green lights came in i don't know there's that new tin wait did we see this this tin group here i'm trying to remember i don't remember dude Huh, is that, that's the only one of them too, which is, oh no, there's the Corvette, there's that, maybe they got them, I don't know, I can't remember honestly, with my, my mental store inventory is clouded, I guess, so yeah, all the same stuff, I could sit here and keep going through all of the, oh man, the Caddy, the Caddy, I mean, the Continental, pretty cool, make a great lowrider, dude, make like hydraulics for it, you know, be cool. Well, oh, they did get some moving parts, because here's one of those things left right 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 nobody wants it nobody wants it nobody wants it uh wow people got super rigs that's how desperate they were for cars right there's nothing else here look at all the peg holes okay monster truck fans holy cow ralph is gonna love this the silverado against the raptor f-150 check it out dude it's got a little flag going out the back that thing is actually really cool nice silverado square body Holy cow, this target is a ghost town, dude. I was trying to get some help, maybe ask some questions. Hey, what's going on? Anything new? There's nobody that can help me, so it's all good. We're out of here. But yeah, look, look, look. This is this is this is what we got at the Tarjay. Woof. It's okay. We won't let it get us down, man. We're gonna keep it moving. I'm gonna stay on the hunt. Something is gonna show up. I know it. There's gonna be like this rush of everything that was supposed to be here for Easter. That's normally what happens. Oh, shout out to the comments. I saw your comment about Pickle Rick and somebody called it. Somebody knew why he turned himself into a pickle. Something is going on at that last Tarjay. I spoke to a worker on the last visit, not this time. He said nothing is coming in. They have not been getting die cast stuff. I don't know if it's like gonna be inventory time soon maybe. So they're like chilling out on what they're sending. Okay, Hobby Lobby, what do you have for the Florida man today? Let's see, we have more of the Hobby exclusives. The Camaro will be here forever, and especially at that price, 15 9 Why is that one 16 and these are 13 There is absolutely no difference in this year. Well, GS114, GS11, A20. That's curious. Maybe this isn't a Hobby exclusive like these ones are with the GS... 
prefix. That's interesting. We got to look and see what my Chase Silverado says for that part number right there. Okay, real quick, I did pull the Dinty Moore M2 Machines Chase that we found at the Hobby Lobby. Instead of starting with a GS, it has an HS prefix. I'm guessing that's Hobby Store. I'm really curious to know what the GS would stand for, but I'm guessing HS is Hobby Store. I'm definitely going to be paying a little bit more attention to some of those prefixes to know is it a hobby store exclusive or not and we still have this truck somebody got one though remember there was two of the truck and trailers i don't remember what the other one was corvettes that one's supposed to be blue green okay those turtle wax things it's forever been here forever and ever i don't see any really much guys i don't think that they if they even got a truck since we've been here oh look the laguna but that's not the same i mean it's the same one except that's like a race car one chrome wheel but i think we have a different chrome wheel on our Garini chase that we just saw at the other hobby lobby oh they got this uh orange thing too we saw that at the last store pawn stars nothing new there yeah that's all the same i'm telling you man i don't see much i don't see much maybe this trip is a bust a little great outdoors action 2022 Ooh, that's new huh the ford explorer limited with your little camper and there's like holes though in the top of the truck for that camper we got a 1982 ship what wait are those um, yeah, yeah, we got another green light chase. Dude, no way. We got two in one day, my people. Two green light collectibles, greenies chases, and it's a 1982 Chevrolet C10 Silverado auction voice. We got another green light collectibles. Of course, there is green on the base. It is a dark base, but I see it. I see the green. Don't worry. I'm not going to miss this one. Holy cow. And I did want to open. Well, we opened the lowrider already. Next, we have to open a Johnny Lightning. I don't think I'll be opening any green light chases but maybe 1982 chevrolet c10 silverado with the camper on the back i bet it comes off and you have just a regular truck maybe we are gonna open it like slit the back or something so we could tuck it back in that would be so cool i don't see anything else though the war stuff is still here the planes got bought i remember they had some johnny lightning planes like the war planes i remember seeing those oh yeah there's the fake Mexico chase thing everyone's like the wheels are black but they kind of look like green a little bit i don't know maybe it's the lighting in here but i think that's it i think we've seen it all we've done it all we came we hunted c8 really like that one we have that in the ultra red it's so cool i gotta find it even the tires are red oh i love it so much all right not too bad i didn't think we would really see much you know just coming off the big easter holiday but thank you so much for watching today's video my people get ready watch your notifications i'm gonna be doing a live show on whatnot definitely this week we're gonna try to do two shows i'm gonna pull some team transport some premiums uh do some other stuff not just dollar starts we will do some dollar starts we'll also do more than dollar starts you guys will see it when it happens thank you again for being here with me the florida man i will see you in the next one there she is out here in the kind of south florida sun it's a little overcast today there's the beautiful green wheels there's the green base as you can see kind of right there yeah it's green trust me how cool man a silverado greenie